when I say this wig was $90 for 30 inches, I am not lying. I'm about to show you how I bleached this, watercolored, and removed the staining off the lace. Yes, this is an Amazon Prime wig, and like I said, she was $90 for 30 inches. Let's open this bag, okay? Now, I purchased this with my own money. I've bought this wig like five times. I'm telling you, like, she is good. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, this is a frontal a lace front wig, okay? And this is how it comes packaged. There's nothing special with this wig. You just get the wig in a little plastic bag with this, like, netting I guess a stocking cap that you can use. I, di I didn't in an um, additional uh, elastic band. Now the frontal is a full frontal wig. Okay. It's a full frontal. You can do your side parts. You can do your deep side parts. You can do half up, half a downs. Okay. You can do that with this wig. All right. So I'm going to take some quick blue. I'm going to put about eight scoops in there. And I'm going to take some cream developer. Now, and then I'm going to pour some hot water from the tap into this mixture and mix it all together. This is a bleach bath. We're going to do a bleach bath because we're only lifting this to a brown, all right? Now, if you want to do a full bleach to lift this wig, which I feel like she could lift lighter than what I do, um, you want to use liquid developer and do pure bleach with liquid developer and it's still going to give you the same consistency, but it's pure bleach with liquid developer and it's not watered down. Okay. So it'll lift, it'll have more lifting power than you adding water. All right. I hope that made sense. If not, just let me know if you want to see a video of me doing that and I'll show you anyway. So I concentrate the frontal first into the mixture and just make sure that the bleach in the bleach bath is getting all into the hair into that part because that is like I feel like the thickest area that you can miss when you're doing bleach baths you want to make sure that you're working that mixture into the hair that you won't have any black spots and I just rub it massage it and just make sure that every single area is highly saturated with this and then once it's done I'm gonna let it process for a good 25 minutes this is what it looks like after 25 minutes. I'm going to go through it, look through it, just to make sure that there are no dark black areas in this wig to make sure that everything processed the same. And then I'll go in and rinse it off with cold water, okay? Make sure that you rinse all the bleach out because you do not want any bleach on this hair, all right? So after that, I do not shampoo it. I just rinse it out with cold water. I'm going to take my Adore Raging Red and Burgundy Envy. And this water is from the tap as, as, well, as well. And this is hot water, okay? I'm going to mix that with my um, applicator brush. And then I'm just going to submerge the wig in there. I'm going to dip it up and down a couple of times. And then I'm going to just let it sit for five minutes so all of that color could absorb. Now, this the wig is porous because we bleached it. So it's going to take this color really well do not worry about the lace because i'm going to show you how to remove any color that you put on your lace off i did a video about this years ago so i'm gonna just re show you guys how to remove the color so do not be afraid of having tinted lace all right so after i let it sit for five minutes i go and pour it out and this is my color outcome but i'm also showing you what the knots look like the knots are small and the hairline is slightly pre-plucked but we're going to go in and fix that so you want to go and you want to take color oops i'll have a link down below in my description box for you guys you you have two parts to this solution you have solution one and solution two i usually mix two caps full take that cap right there and put two fill it up twice and pour it in into your bowl and you do the same thing with solution two and you mix it up that's all you need for a frontal it'll last you forever put that all over your lace make sure you don't push it too heavy in and you will have an outcome like this i let it sit for like 30 minutes in the sun and it removed all the tinting from the lace and the knots the knots are now blonde okay and after i then i go in shampoo and condition and deep condition with silicone mix always do that it'll save your wigs okay so this wig is bomb i'm trying to figure out if i want to glue this down or do a glueless method but i feel like i want her to be melty like y'all seen her she's bomb and i did it with this hairline like i was plucking to pluck to pluck 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 okay 
so that's the end of this video you guys if you're interested in this wig i'll have everything that i use in this wig linked down below in the description box if you want to see more content like this amazon wigs then here click the next video and make sure you subscribe and like this video so i can make more content for you guys bye best friend